Hello and welcome to the news on Bahrain International. I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sheikh Hamad Palace today the President of the Republic of Seychelles, Danny Four, and the accompanying delegation upon their visit to the kingdom. His Majesty the King held a meeting with the Seychellois President, attended by a number of senior officials and the President's accompanying delegation, where they discussed the course of bilateral relations and the opportunities for cooperation, especially in the economic investment and commercial and tourism aspects and means of strengthening and developing them to serve joint goals and aspirations. His Majesty welcomed the Seychelles President and expressed aspiration that this visit would contribute to establishing a new stage in the relations of the two friendly countries and develop cooperation and joint action. The President expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for the warm welcome and generous hospitality and pleasure to be visiting the Kingdom and meeting His Majesty. His Majesty affirmed Bahrain's keenness to enhance cooperation and strengthening ties with Seychelles to achieve the aspirations of the leadership of both countries and benefit both people. He affirmed the Kingdom's consistent approach in enhancing relations with various countries according to the principles of trust, understanding and mutual respect, and building bridges of cooperation and dialogue between cultures and civilizations. The two sides affirmed the mutual desire to develop bilateral relations through supporting all aspects of cooperation in light of the promising opportunities, fundamentals and multiple possibilities in various sectors. His Majesty the King noted the Seychelles' development in all fields led by President Four. Four also hailed His Majesty's keenness to consolidate bilateral relations, affirming his country's desire to develop relations with Bahrain and invest them to serve joint interests. He commended the Kingdom's humanitarian initiatives led by His Majesty and its efforts in promoting tolerance and coexistence and building bridges of communication and dialogue between people and cultures, hailing the comprehensive civilization and development march. The visit will include signing MOUs and agreements in various fields between the two countries. The President of the Republic of Seychelles, Danny Four, is a Seychellois politician who has been President of Seychelles since 16 October 2016 and served as Vice President from 2010 to 2016. The Republic of Seychelles is an African country located in the Indian Ocean, comprised of many islands with Victoria as its capital.
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa deputized the President of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Honor Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to attend the inauguration of Bernice Military Base following the invitation of the President of Egypt, Abdel Fattah Al Sisi. His Highness conveyed to the President the greetings of His Majesty the King and his wishes for further success and prosperity to Egypt. His Highness praised the military movements of Egypt and affirmed that Bernice military base is one of the most developed bases. He praised the role of Egypt in protecting the Middle East, maintaining security and stability and foiling any attempts targeting to harm its security. He added that investing in security is the basis for economic development and stability under the challenges faced by the region and the world. His Highness then witnessed a major land, air and sea maneuver in the which the Mr. Helicopters, combat ships, submarines and various types of multi-role fighters and attack helicopters participated. The strategic goal of establishing the base is to protect and secure the Egyptian southern coasts, protect economic investments and natural resources, and confront security challenges within the Red Sea, as well as securing global navigation traffic. The first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Honor Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the Egyptian Ambassador to Bahrain, Yasser Al Shaban, on the occasion of his appointment. His Highness congratulated the Ambassador and wished him success in further enhancing the bilateral brotherly relations in all fields. His Highness praised the ties linking the two countries and the progress of bilateral cooperation, thanks to the keenness of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and President Abdel Fattah Al Sisi. His Highness wished these relations further progress and prosperity. The ambassador praised the bilateral ties and affirmed Egypt's keenness to further bolster these relations for the interests of both countries and peoples. He praised the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Khalid in supporting these relations. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa deputized Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa to open the 46th Bahrain Animal Fine Arts Exhibition organized by Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities at the Bahrain National Museum and the Bahrain National Theater. His Highness was welcomed by BACA President Sheikh Hamad bin Mohammed Al Khalifa opened the exhibition and toured the place where he was briefed by Sheikh Hamad and the 60 eight participating artists on the creative artwork exhibited. He expressed joy for seeing the paintings and artwork that reflects Bahrain's deep-rooted and distinguished cultural and artistic movement, embodies by the participating artists representing various creative schools and tendencies. He expressed thanks and appreciation to Sheikh Hamai for the continuity of organizing events that embody the richness of the culture and heritage of the Kingdom of Bahrain. He also expressed appreciation to the participants, both Bahrainis and residents, and wished them further success under the support and encouragement of BACA. Sheikh Hamai expressed deep gratitude to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his gracious patronage of the exhibition since its inception 46 years ago. She said that this continuous patronage of the cultural movement in Bahrain in all its details reflects keen interest in the identity of Bahrain and in promoting its most beautiful image to the whole world. Sheikh Hamai also expressed her sincere thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak for opening the exhibition on behalf of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister.
The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, signed a number of agreements and memoranda of understanding between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Republic of Seychelles with the Minister of Finance, Trade and Economic Planning of the Republic of Seychelles. The agreements and MOUs took place on the sidelines of the Seychelles President's official visit to Bahrain. They include visa exemptions for holders of diplomatic, private, or official passports and a general cooperation agreement between the two governments, in addition to an MOU between the Central Bank of Bahrain and the Central Bank of the Republic of Seychelles, and another MOU on tourism. Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed praised the bilateral relations Bahrain and Seychelles enjoy and stressed that the signing of these agreements reflect the keenness of the two countries to further develop these relations in all fields, including political, economic, scientific, cultural, educational, health, information, technology, communication, construction, financial services, trade, investment, tourism, and others, for the benefit of the two friendly countries and their peoples. For his part, the Seychellois president affirmed his country's keenness to further they develop relations with Bahrain and wished it continuous progress and prosperity. The President of the Republic of Seychelles, Danny Four, had arrived in the Kingdom earlier today to meet His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to discuss bilateral ties and means of enhancing them in various fields. Upon arrival, the President was received by the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's advisor, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. The Minister of Works, Municipal Affairs and Urban Planning, Development, Islam Khalaf and Council Representative Abdullah Dawadi toured the Souq Waqif area to review a project to improve its inner roads there, which includes building new parking spaces, adding more entrances and exits from and to the area and increasing its green spaces. The effort comes as part of the Ministry's execution of directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, which are are intended to improve government services and promote cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities. Today's visit is to look into uh, the projects which the ministry is planning to implement in improving the accessibility for Sogwagov, uh, open a new access. The new access will be for all the uh, uh, shoppers uh, to get out from uh, Sugwagov to Sheikh Hamad Avenue. There will be also uh, improvements in terms of uh, one-way circulation within all the roads within Sugwagov in order to keep the traffic movement smooth for all those who are coming to shop or uh, buy things within Sugwagov. The American Chamber of Commerce in Bahrain organized a business networking luncheon with the Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Assam bin Abdullah Khalif, who briefed the audience about the upcoming plans and projects of the ministry, including the infrastructure and development projects in the Kingdom of Bahrain. The aim of the event is to highlight major projects from Bahrain and U.S. companies and further enhance the cooperation between the two countries. The event gathered a number of business figures who came and were briefed on the ministry's works and plans for its present and future in order to push the economic march of the kingdom and implement new projects that aim to enhance the economy and create job opportunities. I'm pleased to, to be here uh, this afternoon to uh, meet with the uh, Bahrain uh, or for the American Chamber of Commerce uh, and uh, the uh, representatives of, of the companies uh, uh, in order to highlight and to inform um, uh, the business uh, sector about the projects and the initiatives uh, that uh, Minister of Works, uh, 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 municipalities and urban planning um, will have uh, uh, currently under construction or in the pipeline um, in order that uh, the business sector are aware of the uh, of these projects and the initiatives and we hope uh, through this uh, uh, communication uh, uh, that uh, uh, 
foreign investors, Americans and other foreign investors, could, could consider uh, investing in these projects and participate. Well, you see, the American Chamber of Commerce has a mission. Among our mission is basically to increase trade and finance and investment between Bahrain and the United States. And at the same time, if there are any fr projects, be it infra infrastructure projects, development projects, we will also seek to try to link U.S. companies with, bah with Bahrain in order to help in uh, executing these projects. Among them, for instance, you can see Alba, there's an American company who's doing Bechtel, and some other companies that are undertaking major works there. So our aim is to try to bring to the table U.S. companies who are able to help with infrastructure. Uh, we are also hoping that this will also um, uh, come forward with respect to the oil and gas. So we're looking forward to that. Well, today's event is uh, another in the AMCHAM, the American Chamber of Commerce in Bahrain's uh, monthly programs, where uh, members of the AMCHAM have an opportunity to hear from leading policymakers in Bahrain. Today we have the Minister of Works, a very important um, presentation that the members of the AMCHAM are looking forward to hearing from the minister. Uh, he's involved and his ministry is involved in so many projects and development projects in Bahrain that are of interest to the American business community in particular. American businesses, especially in the engineering, design, construction field, have played very important roles in the growth and development of the Kingdom of Bahrain. We always, therefore, like to hear what the minister has to say uh, and what the new opportunities might be for expanding the involvement of American businesses and companies uh, in Bahrain. In the presence of Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities President Sheikh Amai bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, the 18th anniversary of Sheikh Ibrahim bin Mohammed Al Khalifa Center for Culture and Research was celebrated yesterday. More in this report. Since its opening in 2002, Sheikh Ibrahim bin Mohammed Al Khalifa Center for Culture and Research has hosted over 550 speakers, philosophers, poets and thinkers who presented their thoughts in the center's weekly lecture program. In this uh, very traditional urban pattern, a center where during 18 years experts from all over the world were coming and bringing knowledge uh, uh, bringing also uh, information, up-to-date information in all fields of uh, history, archaeology, sociology, philosophy. So this is a center of knowledge, a center of knowledge in the, in the center of the city. We really are uh, very happy uh, as UNESCO we have followed uh, all the activities uh, of uh, Sheikh Amay al Khalifa. It is a very rich area in its history, and the center is really the engine that revived the old culture, the old traditions, the old music, the dances, and all that. And this is really what makes Bahrain a unique country in the whole area. The 18th anniversary celebration was attended by the elite community from Bahrain and the region. A music concert was held to make it even more remarkable. There's a lot to Bahrain, there's a lot to the tourism of Bahrain. Uh, it, is, uh, it has been uh, now uh, a center where all the tourists and visitors of Bahrain, they come here and they look at uh, what has been achieved in this area. Happy to be here um, at the Sheikh Ibrahim Center celebrating the 18th year anniversary and um, truly this place means the world to me because it's a beacon for hope, for inspiration, Arab culture in, in, in a modern context and I'm just really super honored and privileged to be here tonight. For 18 years, Sheikh Ibrahim bin Mohammed Al Khalifa Center for Culture and Research has been showcasing different aspects of Bahrain's rich heritage as a beacon of culture, art and knowledge right in the heart of Muharraq. 
The public prosecution held its annual press conference and Attorney General Dr. Ali bin Fadl al buinin affirmed that the public prosecution is mainly concerned with criminal cases and it works impartially and objectively and its aim is to establish justice within the framework of the criminal cases, preserving the society's gains from the process of reform and development and upholding the word of law and protecting public and private rights. He indicated that regarding a review of the accomplishments of last year that the sustainable prosecution plan is to work continuously through developing the technical and educational capabilities of members of the public prosecution through extensive training programs where last year the organization of training and educational courses and partnerships witnessed a variety of judicial work. He also added that an office for alternative penalties has been created at the headquarters of the public prosecution office which is under the supervision of the implementation prosecution now we've got this annual meeting every year almost now 15 years since we we started the uh, this annual meeting it's very important to us to uh, to speak with the community with the people here about the crimes and what's happened in the whole cases and the uh, outcome of the of the work of the public prosecution uh, i believe this year we uh, we did an excellent job i mean in behind in general because uh, there are some crimes, some important crimes, which have been, been reduced. For example, the, the theft has been reduced for uh, 10%, the drugs cases for 7%. This one showed that we are uh, going with the plan, and when, when you speak, we, I don't speak about the public prosecution only. I'm talking about the police, the custom, the judges, the public prosecution, even the committee itself. So uh, we are very happy about this, uh, this outcome. And we have also for the alternative punishment, uh, this year were 1,713 Bahraini been, uh, uh, most of them been in jail, uh, around 70% of them been in jail and been, been released to save the community or to, uh, we put some rehab program to them. And we are very happy about this, uh, this, uh, this, this law, which, which is unique maybe in the Middle East, and I hope that we continue this uh, successful work all together, inshallah. Supported by the Economic Development Board, Bahrain's new Waha Splash Club was officially opened today at the Lagoon Park, Amwaj Islands. In the presence of Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority's advisor, Dr. Ali Fulad, alongside special guests from the business, education and leader sector, a ribbon-cutting ceremony and a unique water activator were officiated today. Dr. Ali said that such venues support family tourism and reinforce the role of the private sector in working hand in hand with BTEA. Waha Splash Club is the latest addition to Bahrain's family leader attractions. It's a partnership between Bahrain based Premier Q Sports and recreation and Canada based Vortex Aquatic Structures. Ideally located at Lagoon Park, Amwaj Island, and covering a total area of 1,780 square meters, the aquatic play venue is a dynamic, zero depth aquatic play constructed with specially made surface flooring and surrounded by fun and creative tropical theming making. Waha Splash Club, a worry-free and relaxing venue for children and adults alike. The Arab Parliament held its second meeting for the fourth session of the second legislative term, where representatives from the Arab world discussed the latest developments in the region. Bahrain's Council Representative and Vice Chairman of the Arab Parliament, Ayril al Asumi, chaired a part of the meeting where the Saudi Foreign Minister, Emir Faisal bin Farhan al Saud, displayed Saudi Arabia's position as well as its efforts in supporting various Arab issues, while Councillor Aqila Saleh gave a speech on the latest development in Libya.